Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Now let's uh, go back to a little bit of history. I'm going back to the year 2000 to tell you of one of the greatest tennis players um, in history. Uh, the elder sister to, of course, uh, Serena Williams, her name, Venus Williams. On this day, she became the uh, first uh, black, I believe, uh, or rather on this day, she won Wimbledon uh, for the very first time. Her victory was uh, over the defending champion at that time, Lindsay Davenport. She made Williams the first black Wimbledon champion since... Um, Althea Gibson won back-to-back -back titles in 1957 and 1958. Yes, I was right, first black. Um, overcoming a very tough childhood in uh, California, she became a champion women's tennis player with seven Grand Slam titles, 16 Grand Slam doubles titles, and four Olympic gold medals. She and her sister Serena are considered two of the greatest tennis players of all time. She also won the French Open um, a women's doubles tournament with her sister. Um, when she, of course, won it in 2000, she stated it, it had been a very, very, very rewarding trophy because of how hard she had worked all her life. The same year, she went on to win the U.S. Um, Open, two gold medals at the 2000 Summer Olympic Games in Sydney, and, of course, uh, signed a very, very massive deal with Reebok. Um, she, of course, uh, later on um, uh, you know, revealed that she was that battling a chronic incurable immune system disorder. Uh, just to quickly also share, you know, this is a story that started from when they were little kids, um, you know, as uh, young as 8 to 10 years old. Um, they started training, you know, to play tennis. And then in 1995, they moved from a training academy that they had initially uh, been attending and, um, you know, stayed at home to be trained by their father in 1995. Um, and of course, uh, also she played um, overtime um, against her sister Serena 31 times won uh, 12 of those games and uh, Serena won 19 of them. But yeah. it's a very, very interesting story of you know, her, her time as a uh, uh, world uh, tennis number one, female number one um, tennis player in the world. And she lasted about 16 weeks um, as number one at yeah. that time. I'm, I'm pleased about our topics today in history because we're basically celebrating women who are first in their field. You talked about Venus Williams being Including the first. The first Heineck commissioner. <laughs> the first female to win the first, especially the black, you know, first that's black yes. exactly, to win that Wimbledon. And I'm going back to the year 1947, the 9th of July, to tell you about the first female army officer to be appointed. Her name is Florence Abby Blanchfield. She was a nurse in the United States. Um, she was superintendent of that army nursing corps from 1943 to 1947. And then, she was a member of that, you know, since 1917. She secured uh, that commission when she passed the Army, uh, following the passage of the Army Navy Nurse Act of 1947 by Congress. Uh, she was instrumental in securing that passage of that act, uh, which was advocated by um, some reps. And in 1947, Blanchford became the first woman to receive a military commission in the regular army. Uh, by 1951, she received the Florence Nightingale Award from the International Red Cross and Colonel Florence A. Blanchfield Army Community Hospital at Fort Camp in Kentucky was named for her in 1982. Um, interesting fact about Blanchfield, she comes from a, a family of nurses and doctors. You know, they all you know, were in the medical line in her family. And she was the only one of them who was able to combine a nursing career with a successful military career. You know, she, she broke records, shattered the glass ceilings, and became the first female army officer. I mean, look at right now, I have so many women doing great things, serving their motherland, both in the US and here in Nigeria. And thanks to women like Florence Blanchfield, who paved the way and blazed the trail for others to follow. Yeah, um, this, you know, would, would easily flow into the conversation about, um, you know, how much women can actually achieve if they truly, you know, get desire serious it, and desire it, you know, and, you know, and stop those, um, you know, feelings that, oh, the world is, you know, you know, is unfair to women and it doesn't let them thrive and it doesn't let them Which achieve. Which is true to some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, get, I agree, you know, but at the same time, you know, there are certain things that if you will work hard for it, you will get it. Um, someone put out, it's a, it's a very, very long conversation, but someone put out, you know, um, uh, something yesterday, uh, two, a couple of days ago, uh, uh, talking about how in Nigeria today, there's many, many um, salons where you go and you see male um, 
hairstylist. hairdressers, hairstylists, you know, makeup artists, and some of all of that. And that happened very easily without anybody, um, you know, forcing them or, or beating them into it. You know, they found themselves in that place. It wasn't, you know, the, a place where they, they were most skilled, but they trained themselves and they got in there. Um, and, but, you know, if it was a different case, I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to look for trouble this morning. If it was, you know, the tables were turned, you know, a lot of women would say, oh, why isn't there enough women in this space? Why don't we have enough women in this space? Go ahead and do it. I'm sure that, you know, she herself, you know, just worked hard and got into that position. And today we're celebrating her. Controversial. Anyway, uh, our first major conversation today is moving to Emo State, where there were gunshots fired yesterday. Um, after the suspension of some members of the State House of Assembly, including the Chief Whip. And we're going to be speaking this morning with one of those suspended members to share with us, you know, what exactly is going on in the Emo State House of Assembly. That comes up after this short break. <laughs> 